Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand how to use e-invoice report in Tally Prime to know the real-time status of e-invoices. The report provides you with the holistic view of the IRN-related information and the status of vouchers. To view e-invoice report, press Alt-G and type or select e-invoice. You can see the voucher status as pending for IRN generation or cancellation, exported for IRN generation or cancellation, and voucher information mismatch with QR code. It also includes the invoices for which IRN is generated from the e-invoice system. The change in period using F2 will be applicable only for this instance. You can also change it using F11 configuration. Press F11. Enable Goods and Services Taxes. Press Enter. You can make changes in the default period for the e-invoice report field. The default period for e-invoice report will be 3 days. You can change it between 1 to 31 days. Now, each time you open the report, the period will be 10 days. Now, let us see the functionalities available in the e-invoice report. You can send the invoices for e-invoicing in bulk. Click Exchange and then Send for e-invoicing. If you click Send, by default, all the invoices will be sent for e-invoicing. If needed, you can select Specific Invoices and click Send. In case some invoices have missing information, need correction, or are rejected by the e-invoice system, this report will show those invoices and you can make corrections. Uncertain transactions include the transactions that do not contain information like tax, place of supply, registration details, and others needed for IRN generation. Missing or invalid information contains two types of transactions. The ones with incomplete HSN or SAC information and those that do not have the information required for e-invoicing. Rejected by e-invoice system contains the invoices that are rejected by IRP and the reason for rejection is also shown. In these cases, drill down to resolve the exception by providing the missing information or making changes. Once you do that, such invoices will reflect on pending section. If you think that an invoice in the rejected by e-invoice system section has correct information and is rejected due to some technical error, you can use mark as resolved. The pending section will have invoices that are pending for IRN generation or cancellation. This also includes the invoices that you updated by resolving exceptions. The section exported will have vouchers that are exported for IRN generation using offline export. The voucher information mismatch with QR code section will have vouchers in which changes are made after the generation of QR code for e-invoicing. For example, if the voucher amount is changed after QR code generation, then it will reflect in this section. Drill down and press Alt F5. Now you can see the comparison between voucher information and information in QR code. Similarly, you have sections IRN generated and IRN cancelled that have vouchers for which IRN is generated and cancelled respectively. User excluded transactions contain vouchers that you have excluded for e-invoice generation. 
the sections in this report help you to get the complete view of IRN related information and the status of vouchers. Press F5 to view the IRN register. Here you will find the e-invoice status for all the invoices in the form of a list. You can set basis of values in the IRN register to see the list of vouchers based on the type of e-invoice status set in basis of values. Click basis of values. Currently, type of e-invoice status is any. Press enter and you can select from the type of e-invoice status. Once you select, press enter and save. Press escape to come out and view the report as per the selected type of e-invoice status. As in other reports, click basis of value to view the report with different values and configurations. You can use change view to open the related reports like IRN register and export eWay bill. The e-invoice report in Tally Prime also has a facility using which you can open e-invoice portal. Just click Open e-invoice portal on the right button bar and you will be redirected to the portal. As you can see, the e-invoice report is a one-stop facility to know the status of e-invoices and IRN generation.